Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell how many amps a particular breaker is pulling. Now we're going to use this outlet here because it's, it's much easier for us right next to our panel in our basement here. we got a few things plugged into it, which is for the telephone and computer and stuff like that. What we're going to use is a, it's a voltage meter and it's an amp meter and it has an inductive reading on top like that. So if you see one that has a clamp like that, that's what it is for. So you don't have to cut the wire and start using the wires here to go in between or a voltage tester. Now, they cost, I think maybe I paid a hundred bucks for this one, it's a pretty good one, but you can definitely get them for like around fifty dollars, I think, like that for something something decent. Now, what we're doing, we're gonna be pulling from our hot wire. Now the hot wire, all wires connected to the, the breakers themselves, okay? You're not gonna use any other one. Now the, here's our wire here for our outlet. Like I said, we only have a few things. We're gonna go just, just clamp it right over the wire like that, make sure it's closed. And read. And if you look, we got maybe a half an amp being pulled. Not very much at all, especially for a 20 amp circuit. Okay, but what happens is when we plug something in, I have a big fan beside me here, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and watch how this amp meter is gonna raise pretty good. Now it's a fan, it's electric motor, uh, unlike a light bulb, say, it's gonna pull more when it first comes on and then it will lessen up a little bit, okay? So let me show you. Now here goes the fan. We're pulling. All right. Now it's pulling almost a steady four amps with everything else on, but it went up to almost eight amps when it first came on, which again, eight amps is a lot lesser than 20. Uh, if that number was gonna be between 15 and 20, uh, maybe even closer to 20 well then you really have that risk of that breaker tripping and of course everything else things are getting warm and maybe not be good so it might be a great time to start rethinking uh, putting some appliances on different circuits things like that but anyway that's basically how you do it but also keep in mind when you're doing this the panel is live I mean this thing is live so just be really careful right electric is definitely not anything to play with um, but it's a great great way to determine uh, if you have a breaker that keeps tripping uh, well start using one of these and try to isolate what's going on with it really because if you're pulling anywhere from 15 to 20 amps well, you, and that breaker trips well you can keep replacing that breaker it's not going to do any good so great way anyway I hope you learned something I'm Dominic from MaxMeDIY.com